Welcome to ABBA Lit Fest again. I'm Lucy Coates and I write children's stories for all ages. Now, lots of children's authors do school and library visits and normally they're absolutely brilliant. The kids are well behaved, everything runs smoothly, but just once in a while there's one that doesn't quite go as planned. Now, can you practice for that? You wouldn't think so, but I want to show you my secret weapon. Meet my unruly audience. Good morning, good morning. Come in, sit down. No, please sit down. No, sit down. No, not on my seat. That's your seat down there. Oh, Lord. Sit, please sit. Thank you. You're a very enthusiastic audience, aren't you? Now, could you sit down, please? Sit. I'm going to read you a story. No, no, please sit down. I'm going to read you the story of the three gifts. Now, Zeus had picked up his father Kronos' powers. He was the king of heaven and earth and everywhere in between. But even Zeus was not strong enough to look after the universe all by himself. Oh dear, we seem to have lost a member of our audience. Never mind. He called his brothers to a meeting. I can't rule the universe properly unless you help me, he said, taking off his helmet. Why don't we share it between us? Hades and Poseidon agreed, and so into the helmet Zeus put a sapphire for the earth and sky, a turquoise for the sea, and a ruby for the underworld. Since Zeus was the most powerful, he closed his eyes and picked first. Out came the sapphire. Poseidon picked the turquoise and Hades the ruby. That was how the division of the universe was decided. But the Titans, who were Zeus's aunts and uncles, didn't like this at all. They thought they should have a share in ruling things, so they raised an army to fight Zeus and his brothers. Zeus immediately freed the Cyclops and the hundred armed monsters that were imprisoned in Tartarus to help him. And the Cyclops were so grateful that they made presents for the brothers. For Poseidon, they made a trident which could cause earthquakes and tidal waves. And for Hades, they made a helmet of darkness that he could sneak up on his enemies without being seen. And for Zeus, they made thunder and lightning bolts which made him so powerful that no one could stand against him. The Titans were soon beaten and Zeus banished nearly all of them to Tartarus where he set the hundred armed monsters to guard them. Prometheus and Epimetheus, the only two titans who had supported Zeus, were allowed to go free, but Atlas, the strongest of the titans, was sent to the far ends of the earth so that he could carry the weight of the heavens on his shoulders forever. Thank you for being such a great audience. The dogs and I would like to remind you to tell us who your favorite Greek god or, or Greek hero is in the comments box underneath this video and then you'll be entered into the competition to win an amazing box of books from my wonderful publishers Orion including this whole set of 12 Greek hit beasts and heroes books. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!